or as we all are. But, um, you know, the closing of just um, is not, um, not really reflecting the will of the people in the communities. I, um, I will say um, tonight when we listen to the Urban League, TOBA, the fraternities, NWACP, Fred Hearns, Omega Sci-Fi, all these are agencies, groups, community leaders that can, in fact, make a difference to a school. I am reminded when we, uh, this is Albert Fields from the w, uh, NWACP, when we visited transformation schools in St. Pete, and you probably know this, Shay McRae, Melrose was the lowest school in the state of Florida. They brought down a woman from Washington, I can't remember her name, but she uh, lived in uh, the Melrose Avenue uh, area, and um, she had the community come into the school. One student had a tutor, one to two students had a tutor, uh, one student had a mental health, one or two students, and of course they had a certified teacher, but it took the community to change that school and then they had that model it went from a f to an a couldn't stay there they went down to a b she used that model with other failing schools well what i'm not going to say is i agree and the ron clark if any of you haven't gone there shows that those schools that are failing or should fail um, can be changed with community and parental support what we're missing is the community and I, I say through principal uh, Kevin McDonald who I'm friends with and many folks know that I've been at just more times than I can even remember in 2019 uh, COVID we did the lunch uh, grab-and-go uh, 2020 we gave them stem we gave them the PBIS we gave them Lego we gave them uh, then in 2021 $50,000 was invested for technology so all this was a give, and then uh, Shay, always on the phone, I'll give you whatever I can. We wanted it to be a transformation school, but it didn't fit yet, so then Daphne came, Daphne Forqueen, an excellent uh, principal, has the same motivation, change the school, get it to the grade, et cetera, et cetera. So you had effective leaders, uh, and you had uh, effective teachers. Now you have substitutes, and you have some effective teachers, uh, and it ain't working. All right, so now the community comes to this boardroom and very, very uh, unified. And now, according to Dr. Lafayette Monday, I hope I got the name right, says that he's prepared to give us the jobs and let the community help that school succeed. So in, in very much uh, in the same vein that uh, Member Vaughn has said, the challenge hasn't been given to the community and I think it's time for them to step up. I wish, this is the first reading, I wish I could say, uh, and Superintendent Davis, I apologize, I, I usually don't change my stance, but the will of the people will not be put down no matter what area that we you reside in. The will of the people is so important. And now, if it's that important, I'm looking at you, James, because you're right there, but if it's that important, then we challenge, and I'll speak for two of us, the community to help us make this school whole and make it successful. And the teachers, we will have to start there because without effective teachers, we're going to be right back where we were. I don't know how much time we have, and I'm out of time, but. Lynn uh, Gray, we accept your challenge. And we'll be coming before the school board on May the 9th to talk about the community response. Our strategy is to use a public, private, non profit 
partnership in order to take just from an F to a C plus and beyond. And we're doing this by using best practice models around the nation. It is true. When the community comes up with its plan, what we know from best practices, they can turn the school around. On May the 8th, we're having a community meeting to talk about our proposal related to the Just Community School Closing. You can reach us at West Tampa CDC at gmail.com. Again, at West Tampa CDC.com. And you're right, board member Lynn Gray. When the community come on board with a strategic, realistic plan to save a school, it works.